Just fucking do it. Subscribe now. And then we were telling stories about when I went to Oktoberfest and threw up on the, the, the vice governor of fucking Bavaria, and, which I did. I did, you know. And then I, I tell him his name. Oh, he's dead now. I said, yeah, well, I wouldn't be telling the story if he wasn't dead. I know he's dead. Yeah, story. Uh, not story, a uh, question, excuse me. Um, he talks about... Is, is, this, is this a Moroccan kind of deal? No, no, no. Is, is this a it's, it's, Casablanca it's, deal? It's, no? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Um, with regards to banks, he talks about approaching banks, institutions, and what have you. Correct. Right? So, in the UK, the way I, sort of we've been doing it is approaching it through a broker. And the broker finds you no, a number of banks. No, that's not a good bank. way. No. No. You mean a business broker that finds you money? No, no, yeah, well, we'll find no, you no, banks no, and lenders. No, and no, no, this is, then the relationship is never yours, it's always the broker's. I'm just telling you, yeah. that's. And when you're using your board, you don't bring, drag your chairman to these fucking meetings and due diligence. For the big, the big problems is you bring, you drag the old bastard in. Um, the, the only time I was dr drug in, and I was not, I said, I said, I don't like this agreement. And of course, you know, it's the day before the board meeting. It's safe for the chairman to say he didn't like the fucking agreement, that everybody's approved. Two sets of lawyers, two sets of accountants, and all the board members have approved them already. I don't care the fuck who approved them. I don't like them. We're not uh, signing this. Okay? But he, you don't drag the chairman in to do due diligence. You don't drag the chairman in. You know, he's there to protect you, basically. In the beginning, he's there to protect you, pure and simple, to make sure you don't get fucking thrown out. And sometimes, you know, I don't want to do it on YouTube, we've got some horror stories where they appear to be supportive. But then, you know, it's a 40 million pound deal, and why are you going to get 60% of it? It would hurt me to give him 60% of a, a nickel, let alone 40 million pounds. It would give me hemorrhoids for life. But that's what the chairman's there for. But I love when a guy brings in a, his father as chairman, and then his father cuts the kid's throat. I love, I get off on that. I mean, that's a sexual experience to me. That's orgasmic for me. When a father cuts the throat of his own kid, metaphorically speaking, but he brought his dad in to be chairman. I have faith in humanity. And I've seen it many, 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 many times. What's even better is when a daughter cuts the throat of her father. That's even better to me. That's like a, a, a multiple orgasm, which guys can't have, right? That's a multiple orgasm for me. When he slips behind him and then fucking cuts his throat. And I've seen it all. I've seen mother turn on son. Son turn on sister. Sister turn on mother. I mean, I've seen it all. Because blood's thicker than water and money's thicker than both. But your chairman, who should be arm's length from you, you know, will be there. You, you'll know soon enough whether he's really uh, protecting your interests or not. You'll know soon enough. Enough things happen. And, hi, and if the chairman calls the lawyers to tell them to redraft documents, and then you ask the lawyers, uh, how are we redrafting them? We're making them not so friendly towards the major shareholder? Then you know. You ought to fire him right then, right? But you don't. You ought to pull, put a cap in his ass, as they said in East LA, boom, right then. Oh, but you're in the middle of a deal, the board meeting, but oh my God, I lose my chairman like you. Simple cunt. I mean, what am I going to do? And he brought the CFO and... Eh. Anything, uh, comments about uh, little Hitler? Yes, sir. I think it would be an understatement to say that um, he took the long way around. And, yeah, and that Germany, is an correct. Like, and he's obviously been held up by having a job to go back to, oh, well, and yeah. then the customary six months. Correct. 
You probably would have done it much sooner. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But I'm just giving you the, the, the facts as they are. I'm not making up the shit, you know. And, um, but he still, but I mean, he's still done a lot more deals than, than uh, most than come out during the same time frame. Absolutely. And the, he's, he, he's, done, he's done well. He's done well. And by the way, the hub and spoke he's talking about. Okay, we live in, we li we live in uh, 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 Chicago. Two hours drive from Chicago is our first universe of looking for acquisition candidates. You can drive there and back in a day, right? Two hours, you do your business and drive back. So all your acquisitions are two hours. So the hub is Chicago. The spokes are where your acquisition are. Now, we had a guy who's a pilot. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, he, his is six hours because he, he finds his plane there. <laughs> and I said, you just wanted a reason to have a fucking plane. And he says, well, and it's, not, it's, it's a, a propeller, you know, yeah, but it's still, it's, it's flying, and I think it costs, I don't know what it costs, but, but other than that, it's two-hour drive. Two-hour drive, but unless you're in a plane, you can go, you know, it's, it, it's longer. Or, or the, the, the radius of your circle is, is bigger because you're flying. You're flying. Yeah. Um, so you, you mentioned earlier, um, right now I'm in a situation where um, I'm working uh, with two LOI, uh, still far, but still working at it. And if I have to fire the board, I still have to do it, even in the middle of the negotiation. I don't care. You no, know, I, I don't care what you do. One guy is not going to change my life. You are not going to change my life. Nobody in this room is going to change my life. So whether you do it or not, whether you want to do it in a couple years like is possible, or less than a year is possible, or you want to do it in 10 years, that's your choice. That's your choice. You can do this in 10, 12, 15 years and never piss anybody off. It's your choice. Corona Rona is not going to last that long, I hope. Corona is going to last a lot longer than anybody thinks, but it's not going to, you know. If, if Corona is around 10 years from now, believe me, we're worse than fucked. You know, uh, I'm going to take over as being dictator of America. I'm going to uh, sit myself in the fucking White House. And, uh, and, 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 the, uh, and the QLA is going to rule the world. I mean... But I, I do know it's going to last a lot longer than everybody th thinks. Uh, but um, I, I hope the shit, you know, um, that it's not, the, you know, the end of the fucking world as we know it. Yes, sir, there. Was his, was he, uh, his projected We're equity... We're talking about Andreas. Correct. His projected equity is $700,000. Is that at the time of the exit that is going to be with the five deals that he has or as of right now? No, no, no. His is seven million. Okay. Seven million is six, two thirds of seven million was five million plus or minus. Good enough for, okay. So he accrued to his account is approximately five million euros. Because he's built up equity of seven, eight million. Do you understand it? He's put no money out, and he's built up equity in deals of seven, eight million. And if he was to exit that day, which he wants to have, you know, 300, 400 acquisitions before he exits. And I don't, I don't know, you know. And I, and I tell everybody, buy as much shit as you can during Corona. Now, this is an exaggeration. Bad deals in Corona are better than no deals. That's an exaggeration. Bad deals, no, no, no. and when you go bankrupt and you, they put you in jail, and you, ah, Pina told me, the castle man told me to do bad deals. But, I, you know, bad deals in Corona are better than no deals. Because even a bad deal in Corona, if the revenues, and, and they're not going to come back to 2019 levels, but even if they come back 50%, you're, make, you're stealing it. You're st not uh, literally stealing, but you're stealing it. You're stealing it. 
And uh, when we go through the 60-40 model in a couple of days, it's, and, um, but his model has changed fairly dramatically uh, during the corona era. And the, and if they, they everybody's gonna tell you, well, my, I expect my business to come back. Well, you know, that, that's great. Give me a call when it comes back. You never hear from them. Because it's not gonna come back. It'll come back, but it's not gonna come back to the 2009. For those of you, that, you know, I, I listen to the news 24-7, 365. I'm listening to BBC, uh, Al Jazeera, uh, CNN, Fox, all of them. And um, the airlines, there's a reason why Warren Buffett saw all his airline stock. Now, why did Warren, the sage of Omaha, sell all his airline stocks? Because they're fucked forever. Ever. The chairman of the Delta, they say, uh, we expect business travel is 60 to 70% of their profitability. Business travel, business tickets, business class, first class. We're hoping by 2024, 2025 to have some level of normalcy. Not some level of normalcy. 2024, 2025. When I said that they're going to sell uh, cruise lines for scrap metal, everybody gave me shit. Four days later, Carnival is selling five ships for scrap iron. And they're selling the ships that they cannot adapt to the new environment. Like the, some of the older ones, they can't adapt. Nobody wants to get on a fucking boat with 3,000 passengers anymore. Forget about it. Sally and I always went on small yachts and shit like that, so, you know, where um, the very expensive, where, you know, spacing, you can do spacing. Well, I feel the you know, guys that have movie theaters, you know, how... How can you make any money? You can't. It's, it's over. God, you look at me, you're as stupid as the people of the public. Your businesses are fucked. It's Allah's will. There was another question. Yes, sir. Uh, when you say that a bad deal in the time of Corona is better than nothing, uh, what is the bad deal for you? Could it be a negative no, cash no, flow? No, no, I or? mean, uh, you know, how, how, big, uh, how big are big tits? Can you tell me that? No. Well, you never suck on a big tit. I can already tell. Okay, okay. No. I, I went out with a nymphomaniac in school in my youth, and all the stories about nymphomaniacs are true. And I could fuck all night. And if you can wear this dick out, went back a long time ago, I mean, you, you had to do some fucking. It's over. How are you going to... Christmas Mass, if you're Catholic. Who's going to go to Christmas Mass sitting next to each other? Going to have social space distancing in Mass? And you can go on and on and on and on. Now, a lot of people don't give a shit. You know, they're going, you know, the kids. You know, the kids. And because I've heard, I've heard kids tell my kids, well, they've had a good life. They have 65, 70. It's all right for them to die. That's what they're saying off the record. They've had their run. It's our turn now. They've had their run, it's our turn now. That should be a fucking slogan. Instead of Black Lives Matter, it's our turn now, they've had their run. That's what the kids think. Which makes it even better for us. It makes it better for us. When value is clear, decisions are easy. If you can't see the value now in the corona era, you ought to kill yourself, metaphorically speaking. You ought to just kill yourself. Metaphorically speaking. But some of you still can't see it. I can see it in your fucking dumb fucking eyes. You don't get it. Does anybody think Andreas is a fraud? 
No, I can look into a couple of your faces. I, you don't believe. I can tell when you can, don't believe. You made excuses why Andreas the little Nazi can do it. You've already discounted him. Exactly. I was just about to say that. Thank you very much. And the reason I took his deal is because I had nothing. I, I've never done a roll up, uh, uh, healthcare roll up in fucking Germany to add it to my, not that I need any extra arrows in my quiver. And that's the only reason I did it. Not because I liked them or anything else. That's the only reason. Because I'm pretty much conflict at every place. Not in every industry, but. And it's the, the, the Corona Rona ones, the ones that are good in Corona, I am conflicted just about every place. Plus, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to be, you know, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't need that. I don't, I want less meetings, uh, not more meetings. And the, um, any other questions about um, Herr Professor Andreas? Her professor, no, her professor Milner, yeah. And some of you, even though I say it's a detriment that he's a financial analyst, you think the opposite. You think that I'm not telling you the truth. You think that he's a, because he's a financial wizard, he's, this, this has been easier for him. It's been just the opposite. That's the one reason it took him so fucking long. Correct. Correct. And, you know, in his multiple degrees, kind of like you. But you saw a guy with multiple degrees that made it. There aren't too many of them, but he did. He did. Multiple degrees are, are uh, a hindrance because you look at the shit too hard. Lee Trevino, who... I knew in another lifetime, has been hit by lightning five times on the golf course, five. Because the golf clubs are conduits. The first time they told him, it's like, that's one in, uh, in two billion chance to get hit by lightning. The second time, uh, that's one in 30, uh, 38 uh, billion squared. The fifth time, it's not possible that you could be hit by lightning five times. One human being. And now Lee Trevino's got about a sixth grade education. Nice man, very nice man. You used to call him Supermax. Of course, you couldn't call him Supermax now. Oh, fuck, no, you couldn't do that now. Supermax, and he said, I won't even go out in the, go out in the rain. I mean, for, forget a fucking golf course. I don't go out in the rain anymore. At the end of the day, you know, the, if you don't believe, it can't happen. If you don't believe. Now, all his board members think that he's Jesus Christ Superstar. I don't, but everybody else does, because I've done this a bunch of times, you know. A bunch is an understatement. I've done it hundreds of times. Who's my 530? Who's my six? OK, any other comments or questions about um, Andreas? Those three pieces of paper, you don't have to write about those. I gave them to you, on, uh, you know, I, uh, uh, because we were talking about um, quality of earnings, et cetera. And one of them is an industry uh, breakdown, which is easy. I mean, uh, KPMG, I forget. One of those is from KPMG, and the other one's from BDO. I forget which is which. I think the quality of earnings is from BDO, and I think the industry thing is from KPMG. We take their names off, you know, but, but that's where the information came from. And for, as far as the speech, the, uh, for the new uh, Corona dialogue, it's just some of the guys since Corona started, um, the, uh, because they want to get through as many of the exam, as many of the potential uh, sellers of assets um, as possible. And so you cut to the chase like you're talking to a hooker. And even though I'm telling you it works, but it won't work for everybody. If that's not your personality, we're not trying to turn you into little me's. You've got to find, and that's why you've got to find the stuff from the, the uh, templates that works best for you. 
uh, and you've got to find the, uh, the templates vis-a-vis -vis talking to the prospective sellers that works best for you. Some, some of you, you know, it, it's so foreign to you, and that's when I say they wouldn't say sh shit if it was in your mouth. That's fine, you know. We've got guys that can do it. But if you want to get, if you want to slam it home as many as humanly possible during this corona era, I mean, that new script that you have, because it puts them right on the fucking spot immediately. And that's what you want. Because if, if, if the first question is no, then thank you, have, you know how they say, now have a nice day. I hate that. Fuck you. Have a nice day, my ass. Have a nice You don't even know. I remember before, you know, in New York City, that's the last thing they tell you to do. Go fuck yourself. That's the equivalent of have a nice day in New York. Yes, sir. In the book, uh, your first hundred... In the book? Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. The first hundred million, uh, you talk about uh, not mentioning or mentioning that you're not a business broker. Is it still valid? Because I have... Well, you're, they're going to ask you if you're a business broker. Because business brokers do what you're supposed to do. How do you think they get those fucking listings? So you want to take the script of a business broker. And we'll, talk, we'll tell, show you how to, uh, to uh, deal with business brokers. But in general, business brokers are whores. Because uh, they normally, well, by, by definition, they're only supposed to get paid by the seller. Not you, the seller. But I don't know a business broker. And the biggest, the founder of the biggest brokerage firm in the world came through here in the 90s. And he said, all the things Mr. Pena says about business brokers are true times 10. Times 10, yes, sir. On the sheet that you gave us. Uh, Which one? The, 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 the one with the Industry. Industry. It says about the real estate development is 33.80%. What does that mean? It's the growth on that? No, no, no. Well, what, what column is it under? What's it under what heading? Uh, that was over here on the white page. It, it's uh, let me see. No, that's the uh, industry average, EBITDA. Okay, dinner, you, we, we know the drill by now. I'll see the 5.30 and the 6, you know, the, it's over in my off, uh, over in the main house. Uh, is it pissing rain? Okay, and uh, this you'll have on the gigs. This is really terrific, though. It's really terrific. Thank you, YouTube.